Science part of it is about the patterns that may repeat and we have now found a pattern that may actually hint that there is eruption imminent in, within the next three days. Of course, this is just a uh, guesstimate. We have the evidence here that there is an earthquake in a location that is at the plate boundary, not far from it. And that I marked it here. Uh, you can see that I will put a right angle around it. And when this uh, happened the previous time, within the next uh, three days, we had an eruption. That was on Monday, uh, um, 27th of the May. And in the 29th Wednesday, we had the eruption. Similar pattern is happening. This is a tiny earthquake, uh, 0 0.2 magnitude uh, of the uh, plant boundary or near, very close to it. We see that now we have around 140 millimeter uh, rise in the uh, Swartzengi and around 160 millimeter in the Skipatsky Heron. And uh, this may mean the imminent eruption. We had similar situation in the past. I played that video. Whatever I wanted to say is in that video. Listen to this and watch. If I'm not completely wrong, we may have the eruption in the weekend, Saturday or Sunday. And this is the important thing. Our GPS data shows now that we have around 20 million cubic meters of the magma under the source thing volcanic system accumulated this is based on this chart on the lower part that one but the north south one also showed something strange we saw an stretching of the ground the land was moving in the unusual direction stretching north south instead of east west which was the direction that we think plate movements happening eurasia and north america the plate boundary is there and when it pulls apart, we see this kind of grabbing systems and volcanic systems where eruptions happen. This time we saw south-north direction along this valley. And I pointed it in, a, you know, in that direction, these arrows you can see there. This was a strange. What was going on? Now we had this pattern of the earthquakes looking into it. And then we see one earthquake today, which was a strangely off the... Uh, usual trend and that is what I marked here and that is exactly on the plate boundary and when we look at the depth of it this is at the zero depth 2.2 kilometers north of the Fagerdesville that's practically exactly on the plate boundary we see it it was a small one this is the Grindavik Rift Valley usually the stretching of the ground causes fall down of the uh, fault lines and the middle part, which is the Green Dovig Rift Valley, as you can see, it has created this kind of fault systems there, a rift. This time, after a north-south movement, a stretching of the ground direction, we had this earthquake out of the uh, normal region, exactly on the plate boundary. This shows to me, as a geologist, this is a transform fault, transferring the movement east-west direction along that uh, you know, plate boundary to the north, which opens up the rift valley, actually. It's sourcing the volcanic system to the east of it. Practically can erupt now. It is opening up the ground. Each first is started by stretching north-south direction, disengaging the plates, then moving, bang, we have an earthquake. Transfer faults can move now and stretch the rift valley. The rift valley is now opening up and making the way for the magma from the sourcing to flow in the direction of the east and flow to the surface something like what we saw in the latest eruption in that area a rift created a crack a fissure and that fissure practically erupted we are defending of course the town of the green Devic with all defenses that we have in that place but it seems the eruption is closer than what we think with this development the plates are unlocked and the way for the magma to reach the surface it seems is going to be opened faster than what we thought. The eruption probably is imminent. That's what I think.